This video is entitled Semantics and Phrasing Tags and is a companion to the book, so you want to learn to use HTML and CSS. And this goes along with Chapter 3. I'm James Imbrano, PhD, and I'll be taking you through this video presentation. In this video, we're going to cover several phrasing tags, and phrasing tags go within flow tags inside paragraphs, inside articles, inside of headers, and other things and uh, add additional meaning not to the whole thing, but to specific words and phrases within the thing. The uh, elements that we're going to talk about are the EM, the B, the strong, the mark, the site, the DFN, the small, the ABBR, the I, and the Q, and what those HTML tags mean and what they're to be used for. Back in the early days of HTML, B stood for bold and I stood for italic, but they don't mean that anymore, and I don't want you using them that way. They have a very specific meaning for what they're used for instead of being used for formatting. Let's start with the simple phrasing tags. The EM tag stands for the emphasis tag. If you want to add emphasis to something, emphasis to a word or to a phrase, use the EM tag around it. If you want to mark utilitarian words, products, keywords, actions, words that have uh, utility, you put the B around it. Now, that used to mean bold, but it means now for utilitarian words, products, keywords, and such. Um, you put the strong tag around words that are of strong importance or urgent tag words. Um, you know, like dangers and warnings and, and that kind of stuff. Um, you put a strong around those. You see the difference between an EM and a B and a strong. Now, they all will show highlighted. They all will show bolded, but they mean totally different things. If you've got uh, words that you don't know what how to mark them, they're just kind of something you need to mark them, but you don't know what to mark them with, you can just use the generic mark. Um, it's not very preferred. If, in fact, you really don't want to use mark, but if you just need to mark something and you don't know whether it falls into one of these other ca other categories, then just use mark. We use the small tag around a small print, legal disclaimers, copyrights, and other things that need to be small. You know, small print um, needs to be there, but just not very important. It's kind of small. Um, and then we use the I tag to offset something in a different voice, a book title, for instance, or, or something else, a word that needs to be offset in a different uh, a voice within your writing. So these are some of the simple, six of the simple phrasing tags that I really would like you to know as, as you're starting to work in HTML. Additionally, there are four more I'd like you to know. The first is the site tag, C-I-T-E, and you put the site around a book title or a work, an, uh, a painting title or the title of something um, when you're using it in text. So that would be, you just see site Animal Farm by George Orwell. Now that would be in a paragraph in, in text somewhere, but that way the words, the book, the title of the of the work will stand out. Um, the DFN tag stands for definition, and the DFN tag goes within a paragraph or within an article, and the word that that paragraph or article defines is put inside the DFN tag. So you can see I have a paragraph says an orange is a citrus fruit. Well, that would be a definition of orange. I know you're not allowed to use the word that you're defining in the definition of the word, but you can still see that orange is a citrus fruit would, would be a definition of orange. So uh, you can see how the word orange is defined by the paragraph. So a DFN always goes in the paragraph or the article that um, defines the term inside the DFN tag. There's a tag called the ABBR tag, and the ABBR tag is an abbreviation for abbreviation. Um, so the ABBR tag always should have a title, because if you have an abbreviation between the start and end, like I have the abbreviation SSU, 
but that's an abbreviation for Shawnee State University, the university where I teach. So if you have another word that that somebody might confuse or an abbreviation that you use and you want the user to be able to hover over the word and see what the full term is, you use the ABBR tag. Now, that would be also embedded in the middle of a paragraph or in the middle of, of some, uh, some text. And then the last one I want you to know is the Q tag. The Q tag is used to wrap around quotations. If you've got a quotation, put it in the Q tag. Um, yeah. So, for instance, one of my favorite quotations is "Don't panic." It's it's comes throughout the book Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, and and so you can see that I've included a site tag, a site attribute, or I've a site attribute within the Q tag. The site attribute is a, a link to a web page or another page, a link to to a source somewhere that says what that's a quotation from, so that people can go straight from your quotation out to the quotation. Um, so cite, DFN, ABBR, and Q for a citation, for a definition, for an abbreviation, and for a quotation. So here's a simple HTML page that contains many of those, that contains many of those um, Phrasing elements. You can see that um, um, in the uh, paragraph, HTML has the abbreviation tag around it. Um, there's a uh, um, a definition um, tag. You'll see that there's a site tag and another abbreviation tag, and and you can see an emphasis tag and a alternate voice i tag, and you can see several of those tags all uh, shown in this phrasing example. And that web page, when it's rendered in a browser, looks like this, and you can see that the abbreviations you can hover over. You can see that the definitions are. Are uh, italicized. You can see that uh, um, you, you can see a lot of this, but but the real trick is the semantics behind it, not just how it appears, but how the browser understands each of those different bits. Because later we'll learn how you can change how things appear, um, and they don't appear in this default way always. But but still. The semantics and the use of the proper tags surrounding things tell the browser, tell the search engines, and tell readers exactly what, what those various words, terms, abbreviations, quotations, citations, and other things really mean. This concludes this video. This presentation is copyright 2020 by me, James Emerino, Ph.D. You can contact me at jim, uh, jim at renejm.com. Uh, Juliet India Mike at Romeo Echo November Echo Juliet Mike dot com. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution, non commercial, share alike, 4.0 international license. And I would like to say thank you very much for watching.